What's going on, people? You know what? I was watching that video of that black female in Georgia, the lawmaker, the one that told the Cuban dude that he was white, and everyone accepted that. Everybody was was uh, storming the, the Internet saying, like, well, he's not white. He's Cuban. He's Cuban. He's not white. But what I found interesting about that, the so-called black Americans are the only ones that's not allowed to have any type of culture outside of the so-called black community. If you are linked to a particular country, for example, white people, whether they're Jewish, whether they're Italian, whether they're uh, Cuban, Puerto Rican, because there's a lot of white complexion Puerto Ricans a lot of white complexion Italians, a lot of white complexion Jews, and if you refer to them as white, they're going to tell you, I'm not white, I'm a Jew. Or I'm not white, I'm Puerto Rican. Or I'm not white, I'm Cuban. And people will accept that. But if black Americans or the so-called brown people would say, I'm not black, I'm West Indian. I'm not black, I'm Jamaica. People are gonna come back and say, you're still a nigger. You're a nigger, you're gonna always be a nigger. You gotta put that muscle in your voice, a nigger. Gonna always be a nigger. You don't wanna be black. Whereas if you say that to a white person, they can come back and say, I'm Native American. Now, my mother is full-blooded Native American. And for you so-called black conscious folks out there that say that the black woman is God, you say that the black man comes from the black woman. So if, black, if the black woman is God, and because of the fact that the black man comes from the black woman, wouldn't that make that man be what his mother is? Because there's a lot of dudes that's raising children that's not their own. They were told that was their child. And the only way they can prove that's their child is the paternity test. Now, if they don't get the paternity test, then they're going to go throughout life thinking this is my child. And my child is what I am. And of course, we believe that... Uh, the son or the child carries on the father's genes or whatever the father is, that's what the child is. That's according to biblical knowledge. But if we want to go according to the woman, there's no question and doubt what that child is once that child comes out of that woman. So if my mother is a full-blown or full-blooded Native American, wouldn't that make her children Native Americans? Now, although I'm a combination of Native American and Grenadian, right? Most folks will look at me and say, I'm black. Now, what's the strange thing about that is while growing up, I never referred to myself as black. I never grew up with that era, in that era, where we just call ourselves black. That didn't come along until James Brown said it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, all right? But until that point in my family, I don't know about anyone else's family, but in my family, we didn't grow up with, I'm black, I'm this, I'm that, I'm Afro-American. We didn't grow up like that, okay? And maybe because of the fact of, maybe because of the culture of my moms and my father, you know, we just didn't see color like that. And the funny thing about that is people on the outside, mainly so-called black Americans, were the ones that pointed out that I was different. For example, there's no place I can go without a so-called black American asking me, what are you? And then I would say, because everybody else says that's what we are, I'm black. Well, you don't have the features of a black man. Your hair is not like a black man. Ain't no black man got hair like that. Because my hair was long. It was long and it was straight. No black man's got hair like that. Your lips are thin. What are you? 
What do you mix with? And then when I tell them, you still a nigga. They gotta put the muscles in your neck. Your nigga gonna always be a nigga. But when it comes to white people, a white person can say, I'm Native American, but you see their skin is pale. A person that's white can say, I'm Irish, I'm Native American, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm Cuban. But when a brown person does the same thing, it's, it's interesting because I posted on this Native American site um, about, you know, because you hear these people say, oh, nobody's, the real Americans are the Native Americans. And then when I tell them about, you know, my heritage, then it's like, well, you don't look it. In other words, you're a nigga because my skin is brown. But yet you hear so many black Americans say that they had grandmothers that was dark with long black straight hair. My grandmother was like that, but she wasn't really dark. She was like lighter than me, but her hair was all the way down basically to the ground, right? My sisters had hair all down their back. My whole family had long hair. As a matter of fact, although I shaved my head off, my hair off, in my little goatee here, if I do this, it's still straight, right? That's how my, I have thin lips. I don't have the broad nose like they say so-called black men have, all right? So growing up, I've always known, and there's something in the so-called black Americans that can tell that you're not one of them, so to speak. And that's not saying that you're better or anything, you're just different, right? Because I've had people mistaking me for Dominican. I've had people dis uh, mistaking me for Cuban. I've had people mistaking me for Middle Eastern, right? And even my sons to this day, they get mistaken for being a Dominican. My son was, uh, this dude, this barber was cutting my son's hair, Dominican dude, and he was speaking Spanish to my, my, to my son. And then he asked my son, you're not Dominican? My son says, no. The people on my son's job, the so-called black Americans, referred to him as foreign. They call him foreign just because of how he looked, just because of his features. And he's my complexion. So a lot of times, so-called black people are the ones that out, that, that point out the difference in you. But then when you say, okay, this is who my family is, so this is who I am, then they get offended and say, you don't want to be black. So everyone could have a nation or could be tied to a nation, but so-called black Americans. Black Americans are uh, gang stalked by each other to remain black, to remain a slave, a descendant from a slave. And if, you're, if you think outside of that slave mentality, then you become a coon, you become an Uncle Ruckus, you become an Uncle Tom, and they will straight up tell you, you don't want to be black, you a nigga. You got to make your lips kind of twist and the, and the veins pop out of your neck and it's your nigga. Your eyes got to bulge, you could always be a nigga. But they don't say that to white people. A white person can say, I'm Armenian, I'm not white. And see, when you refer to a person as white, they understand that you're referring them to a European. And they're going to quickly tie you to their country where if, if they're from America, they're going to say, this is where my ancestors come from. They're going to automatically tie themselves to where their ancestors came from. But black Americans, they stay on the slave plantation. So I just think it's quite strange that everyone else could have uh, a nationality but so-called black Americans. So-called black Americans have to remain black. You can't be anything outside of black or you would be gang stalked by other so-called black people. And I never understood why so-called black people refer to themselves as being black when black is the color of my hat right here, well, actually, it's, it's, it's navy blue, 
but it, it looks like it's black. But you know what I'm saying? It's it, black is black. But my complexion is brown. And although my skin complexion is brown, so-called black Americans don't refer to me as being black. They always got to ask me, what am I? What are you? My sons get that. What are you? What do you mean, what am I? You know, I'm all the way in Germany and this black female asked me, what are you? You know, you don't have the features of a black man. Why is your hair like it is? Why, why do you have thin lips? <laughs> Women love them thin lips though, boy. I tell you, they love the thick lips, but they love them thin lips, brother. I'm telling you, right? But you don't have to be a nigga. If your family, your mom or your dad, if your mom or your dad is Jamaican, if your mom or your dad is native, because I can say, because you have a lot of so-called black Americans like tie themselves to other nas nations of people and they have no proof. But when you have your moms and my grandmother, and even though my grandmother passed away, I still have photos of my grandmother. I have, gra I have photos of my great-great-grandmother, my great-great-great-grandmother. And they're Native American, right? So, and I just went, I, I, I went to a powwow this past weekend, man. It's, it's Seneca, it's a, it's a Seneca nation. And man, I enjoyed myself, it was nice. It was really, really, really nice. So, black folk gotta get off that kick of being a nigga, right? If, if, if anyone, everybody that's brown gotta be black. Now you got Africans now coming from the, from the continent and they may be from like Senegal or Nairobi or someplace, but the minute they reach America, man, they start referring to themselves as black. I remember when Africans would not refer to themselves as black. It was an insult to call them black. I've heard Native, uh, I've heard Africans say, I'm not black. I'm from Kenya. I'm African. They would tell you, I'm African. Because they tie themselves or link themselves to the country of the of their ancestors or their origin and now you find because of the fact that people's minds are being manipulated and brainwashed now you have uh, Africans people from the continent calling themselves black we're all black but yet you don't see them mingling in the so-called black community so feedback tell me what you think I'm out among nature and these bees I trying to light on me because I smell good. I smell good. There's nothing wrong with a, a brother smelling good, man. Women love a good smelling brother. Even the bees and mosquitoes love good smelling brothers too. And they will sting your behind, right? So you don't have to be a nigga. <sighs> Till next time. I'm fearless.